So we're now moving due eastwards, all, almost to the coast, to Narbonne. Now uh, look at that for our train. Double decker, double length TGV. New, clean, efficient and runs on time. Narbonne was founded as a trading station by the Romans in the 1st century BC on the Via Domitia which had recently been completed. The Via Domitia ran from Rome to Spain and we shall see a little bit of it later. We're just now heading towards our hotel. In 1292 the last of the troubadours who had been born in Narbonne died and this signalled the end of the golden age of this area of France. There is a monument to later wars. Southern France, from Marseille across to Bordeaux, had really been a higher level civilization than the rest of France, and it was richer, and therefore inevitably a tempting target for carpetbaggers from the north. Anyway, let's just have a look around this uh, morning market for a little while. Quite a variety of things, not just jumpers and baseball caps. Quite a lot of books as we'll see shortly, and most of them were not what I would call popular fiction. They even had books on Mozart and people like that. I should tell you whilst we're looking at this that uh, the national rail strike which caused our delay by a day in setting off is going to be repeated this week as far as we can tell so I'm going to have to cut now look at this chap, is this chap French or is he French? I'm going to have to cut my stay here short by one day so tomorrow we'll be going to Bézier back to Narbonne and then straight on to Perpignan Now the music wasn't from that, it was from a chap playing a flute nearby. Now look at that lovely old market hall there, covered market hall, and look at the imagi imaginative way they've used those windows. We'll have a look in there. Reminds me of the old Norfolk Market Hall in Sheffield, but different somehow.
upstairs and we'll look at the windows. And uh, just next door to that is uh, an old church, which is in fact now not a church, it's a lapidary museum. I think that's stones, isn't it? I will just walk through the market to the other end. The market's held in a big space alongside the canal, the Canal du Robin. And we'll make our way over there towards the old cathedral. Just across that bridge and over to there. Now just in front of this building, they've uncovered, they tell me, a part of the old Via Domitia, which, if you remember, run, ran from Rome to Spain. Well, that's what they tell me, anyway. Now, there are ecclesiastical buildings, and next door is the large cathedral first gothic cathedral down here I think but um, it's only about a third completed as they were going along the nave the, either the money ran out or else they found out that if they continued it to its full length it would go straight through the city walls either way it's incomplete blank wall built across where they got up to well at least where the roof was and then all these pillars and whatnot are just left standing there So we're going to make our way back down this little road now, back to uh, towards the hotel. Here's a good pussy. You want a pussy? And there you are, Canal de la Robina. We'll just have a look down there. We were on the other side of where that building crosses it. That's where the market is. Just have a look at this section now. And then we'll leave it up uh, these steps here and walk back towards the hotel. It's now Monday and we're going to spend the day in Bézier. But perhaps a little reminder of where we're up to now, starting from Carcassonne. To Carcassonne. We'll then travel across by train to Narbonne. Whilst in Narbonne, we hope to go up to Bézier and back and then back to Perpignan. And this is Bézier. 
Now, I may have mentioned the crusade, which the Pope, uh, that is to say, the representative on earth of our Lord Jesus Christ, he declared a crusade in which all the Cathars were to be killed. Simon de Montfort, our old friend, was deeply involved in this, and Bézier was one of the first towns they came to and surrounded. There were 20,000 people inside that town and the papal representative was asked how they were to know which were Cathars and which not to which the papal representative replied kill them all God will know his own now this cathedral uh, with its fortress like exterior was built after that incident um, it's built on a top of a hill as you may have seen and this position always had been a defensive position along the coast And in fact we're making our way over towards the town. And there's another one of those nice market halls. Another church. Another church. And we see very shortly here evidence of the latest religions, uh, Harry Potter and uh, you know who. We actually must start with making our way back down to the station now, down this broad avenue lined with lime trees. That is actually a statue of the man who built the Canal du Midi and brought back prosperity to Bessier and we're just going to descend now through this nice little park past the war memorial and back to the station to catch a train back to Narbonne 